if the village idiot can get hit on the head with aircraft debris and survive, why can't an eighth grader get elected president of the United States? My eighth grade lab partner still holds the record for most voracious reader. In addition, the books she took on were lengthy literary masterpieces. Unbeknownst to her, I was in awe of her devotion to them. But she was not only scholarly. She was also kind, funny, and an adaptable communicator. During our year sharing a Bunsen burner, I felt she had the ability to manage a country. If the blow to the village idiot's skull was hard enough to render him unconscious, how would his life change if he awoke a concert pianist? His shows attracted a multitude of the cultural elite, and he became so wealthy he could afford a life of luxury. He gained mansions, cars, yachts, designer clothing, and high-end handheld devices, and evolved into a theatrical showman. Before long, key players invite him to take part in a fundraising concert for a homeless shelter. Halfway through his performance, he gets hit over the head by one of the theater's Christmas props, a one-armed elf from Santa's workshop. When he comes to, he is back to being the village idiot, drops his drawers, and starts pressing on the piano keys with his butt cheeks. It was frigid on the morning of the presidential inauguration. I could sense the anticipation of my fellows, and this hopefulness overcame the chill. We were about to witness the inauguration of the youngest president of the United States. She had chosen a brilliant madman to play Mozart's Piano Sonata Number 18 in D Major, K576, after the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court swore her in and she made her first address. A year earlier, she had been watching the pianist perform at a fundraiser for the homeless shelter in her village when a paper mache amputee struck him on the head. After he regained consciousness, his behavior changed, and he began striking the keys with his buttocks. At that moment, she recognized him as the homeless man her community had written off as the village idiot. She also understood that she was a fool for following the rest of the herd by not seeing the whole man. The head strikes only appeared to transform him like pouring rain seems to wash dirt from cars. They were both like the books in her library, complicated and worth reading.